Washington. Here for a fair and balanced debate are Republican Congressman Steve Stivers of Ohio and Democratic Congressman John Yarmuth of Kentucky. You two are numbers guys. Congressman Stivers, you sit on the House Financial Services Committee and Congressman Yarmuth, you're on the Budget Committee. So as we watch to see if the Senate, if, if they can strike a deal there, I'm wondering if there's some wiggle room in that $250,000 tax hike threshold. The, the president wants to raise taxes on people making above that. Republicans want to raise the threshold. We're hearing maybe reports of 400 or 500,000. Congressman Yarmuth, do you think the president will negotiate on, on that in particular? He seem, has seemed pretty firm on it. Well, he has, but I think ultimately some number higher than that would probably be acceptable to certainly the Democrats in the House. I introduced, a bu I introduced the amendment in the Budget Committee to <clears throat> raise the rates just on incomes over a million dollars. Uh, every Republican on the committee voted against it. Though The $400,000 level seems to me to be about right. That represents about the top 1% of income earners in the country. Those are the people who got 93% of all the income growth uh, last year. So <clears throat> that seems to be a number. I think we, there's some flexibility there. Congressman Stiver, so if there is some flexibility on, on that level for the, the tax hike, do you think the House GOP would get behind some sort of stripped down package that maybe gives on the, the tax level but doesn't deal with spending as much as you may like? Well, I think we need to come together and do the best we can on both fronts. I think spending has to be on the table at some point, but uh, I think we need to work to prevent tax increases on as many Americans as we can, and I think there's a way to do that. In fact, I think uh, Congressman Yarmouth's amendment from last year makes a lot of sense uh, if we could get it now, but you know, if the number's a little less than that, we need to save tax hikes on as many Americans as we can. I kind of feel like I'm a lifeguard and we gotta save as many people from drowning in higher taxes as we can. The House is back Sunday, back in session on Sunday, do you all expect that there will be something from the Senate that you can vote on even Sunday night? Start with you, Congressman Yarmuth. Oh, I think that's probably a little bit overly optimistic. Uh, I, I'm looking for something on Monday because the Senate's going to have to act first, and I suspect that'll happen sometime Sunday and then, or else early Monday, and then we'll get something on Monday afternoon. I think that's the more likely scenario. So do you think it'll, you'll come in I, under, the, I, under the wire, Congressman Stivers? <laughs> I agree with Congressman Yarmuth that I think we uh, hopefully will see something on Monday. I doubt we'll see it Sunday night, but I think we might see something on Monday. I'm still optimistic. I'm always much more optimistic when I'm at home in Ohio uh, <laughs> than I am when I get back to D.C., but I'll, uh, I'm still optimistic, and I think we can avert this. I think there's enough common sense Republicans and common sense Democrats to come together uh, to get this thing solved, and I, th I think it'll happen. Let's talk about a couple of things that may or may not be in this legislation. We don't know how, quite how stripped down it's going to be. Let's talk about the estate tax. Is it, is it going to go up as the president wants in, in this legislation, Congressman Stivers? Well, I hope not. The estate tax uh, punishes a lot of family farmers in my district and a lot of small business people. It's important to remember that money's already been taxed, and a lot of times people have to sell the family farm just to pay the taxes or sell the family business. Uh, it's a real shame. We've got to get that fixed and solved. So we need permanence on the estate tax. We need a bigger exemption, something like we have today, uh, I think would work. If we could make it a little bigger, that'd be great too. And Congress Congressman Yarmuth, what about the, the debt limit? You know, we're going to hit the debt ceiling December 31st, 16.4, about trillion dollars. Is that going to be worked into this piece of legislation or is that after the new year? Well, I don't think it's going to be. I hope that uh, we were able to work it in, in this legislation because then, then we would avert another uh, man-made crisis that uh, we, we're all too uh, good at doing these days. So I, I, I would hope it's part of this package, but it should never be a part of negotiation because, again, as, as I know you all have discussed many, many times, this is something that has been <clears throat> raised routinely over 70 times over the last 50 years. Uh, this is something that shouldn't even be in the law. It doesn't save us any money. It doesn't keep us from spending any more money. It just shuts the government down if we, and, and risks the full faith and credit of the United States. It's just about recognizing the, the debts we incur, uh, and, and it shouldn't okay. be a part of any uh, extortionate process. Congressman Stivers, I've got to let you have the last one-sentence word on that. Well, I do think uh, the debt limit is important. It's part of our leverage. It's not extortion, but it's about making sure that we can uh, live within our means and address the real problem, that's spending. All right, Congressman Steve Stivers and John Yarmuth, thank you for joining us today. We appreciate your insights. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Happy New Year. To you.